What's up Van Fam? So we have been stuck in this hotel room for over a month now and we're going a little bit crazy. Ah! Ah! Luckily, our new van comes in just one week and we can't wait. So if you don't wanna miss that first video of our new Storyteller Overland, make sure to click that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out. So today, while Paul's busy working and Orlando's busy chilling, I'm going to take time to prepare everything that we need for our new van. So that means all of those van life essentials that we just can't live without. So first up, let's talk about water. <laughs> Specifically, you need to find a way to safely transport that water into the van and keep it sanitized and fresh. So you'll need one of these, just a basic hose, that is fresh water rated so it's safe for potable water. And ideally we like one that's BPA free. This is one of the most common ones that you'll find in an RV store and it works for us. Next up, you'll need one of these. Now this is a water pressure regulator. And what this does is it slows down the water flow. So if the water's going directly into your fresh water system in the van, it doesn't damage it by the pressure being too high. You might also want some of these. So these are sanitizing wipes, they're alcohol based, and we use these to just sanitize around the freshwater spigot because I've seen some people do some real nasty things to freshwater spigots. So we always just wanna make sure it's safe and clean. Now, when we were living in our Travado, we didn't drink out of the freshwater tank because it was just annoying to sanitize and we didn't have uh, a lot of capacity. But now that we're in our Storyteller Overland, we are going to be drinking out of that fresh water tank. And if you are as well, you'll probably want one of these. So this is an inline filter that you put, uh, connect to the spigot and then to your fresh water hose so you can sanitize the water before it gets into that uh, fresh water tank. Now there are different types of filters. This is the blue one that you'll commonly see, but this really kind of just filters out the sediment. It doesn't do too much uh, to filter out some of those other things that you don't want in your water. This green one, however, which is the Clear 2O, uh, filters out, I think, down to one micron. So it's a really good filter. It comes highly recommended by some of our van life friends like the Frazies and Go Small Live Large. So I would definitely sanitize your water before it gets into your fresh water tank. One of the other things that we'll be bringing along with us is one of these, which is a jerry can. And these are great because you can store extra fresh water in them. And if you can't find a potable water spigot around, you can easily bring one of these into a supermarket and fill up there. Now, one of the cool things about the new Storyteller Overlands is it comes with a siphon so you can directly siphon fresh water into that fresh water tank, which is what we'll be doing. So we're going to keep some of these in the back, which is going to expand our fresh water capacity from the 21 gallon fresh water tank to 31 gallons in total, which is amazing for a van with such a small footprint. Okay, so once you get your fresh water in that tank, it doesn't really end there because water sitting in a tank for an extended period of time where it might get hot isn't the most sanitary condition. So we opt to then filter our water out a second time before we drink it. Now, when we were in our Travado, we did this with our travel size Berkey water filter, which is great. It sat on the countertop and does an awesome job of filtering out water. Now, in our new van, we're gonna opt for a slightly different system, and that is using these Berkey Sport water bottles that were recommended to us by Kevin from 30 and Wake Up. And these are great because it's that same Berkey technology that does an excellent job filtering out water, but they're super portable, easy to use, and we're gonna fill them up directly from our sink faucet. So we're really excited to give these a try. Now I'm a little embarrassed to admit that one of my prized possessions is this cup. And I'll tell you why. When you're living in a sticks and bricks, cups can be kind of meaningless, but when you're in a van, you really need to carefully select and almost curate all of the things that you have so that they really make sense and they serve many purposes. So this cup is great because it's made of glass, you can microwave it. And so when I'm drinking coffee or tea or I'm making matcha, it's really nice because I don't wanna take up space with a water heater so I can put water in this 
and heat it up in the microwave and then pop on this top and it becomes a thermos that I can drink with when I'm driving. Uh, I think this is Joko. You can get on Amazon, but um, I love this cup. So while we're talking about food utensils, we also carry around one of these, which is this cute little cutlery set. It comes with like a, a little spoon, fork, and knife. And these are really great because Let's face it, doing the dishes in the van sucks. And when dishes pile up, they start to stink. And that stink is usually right next to your bed if you're living in a van. So you wanna keep things clean and having one cutlery set avoids that because you just quickly clean it off after every meal. So now that we've talked about eating and drinking, let's talk about the other end of the system and how you manage waste in a van. <laughs> So in our Truvada, we had a black tank that we had to dump at dumping stations. In our new Storyteller Overland, we'll have a cassette toilet, which is a little bit more versatile. Either way, when we're on the road, we mostly use public toilets, but when a public toilet isn't available, we usually use that van toilet, and there are different things that you need to consider in order to keep that stank at bay, because there's basically a tank with all of your waste uh, right near where you're sleeping and living. So there are all different types of chemicals that you can use to break down that waste and keep the odors at bay. There's the blue stuff, there's the orange stuff that you can find at RV shops, and there's also more natural stuff like happy campers. Now you also need some toilet paper, and this stuff is paper gold. The uh, RV toilet paper, it's so dang expensive. So you can get this if you want, but you can also get store-bought one-ply as long as you know that it's going to dissolve easily within a holding tank. And there are certain brands that are much better than others. Uh, hop on YouTube or do a quick search to find out which brands break down easily, or you can run your own science experiment and put a couple sheets in a mason jar with water and shake it up and see how quickly it dissolves. And on the more rustic side of the spectrum is this. So on the East Coast, there's not a lot of open BLM land that we can boondock on. So we are mostly using public toilets or we're using our van toilet. But when we're out West, you can stay on some really nice BLM land, which is Bureau of Land Management. Um, and you can pack in and pack out there and use the toilet in the ground. So having a really good trowel is important because you need to be able to dig I think it's eight inches, and then you go to the bathroom and cover it back up. Just uh, make sure to clean up after yourself. Uh, we've seen so much gross toilet paper laying around, really great camping spots, which is a shame because then they start to shut spots down. So um, just be a good steward of the environment and don't spoil it for everyone else and clean up after yourself. Another product that we've grown to really love is this towel. Again, when you're in a sticks and bricks, you don't really think about towels too much. You can have maybe 15, 20 towels just stacked up. But when you're in a small space, it's the little things that matter. And this towel is, uh, I think it's microfiber. It's really quick to dry, which is super important when you're in a van. So uh, we can uh, grab a shower, go for a swim, you know, dry off, and then we'll hang this up on the ladder on our van and it'll dry really quickly because the last thing you want in a van is a wet towel. Blankets too are also important and worthy of consideration. And this blanket we love, I think it's called the Get Out Gear Blanket. Um, it keeps you warm, it's breathable, it packs down to nothing, and you can also clip it around you and it acts as a nice little fashionable cloak. This little guy is actually one of my favorite items that I own. And this is an inflatable hammock. Now, I have to warn you, you look a little bit silly trying to set it up, but once you do, it's super comfortable and you can just chill out anywhere with it. And again, it's really portable and doesn't take up too much space at all. And last up are some of my least favorite products in the van, which are workout equipment. So this is a kettlebell. You swing it around. It's a really good workout. It's cardio. It works your muscles and uh, it's very portable and you can do a lot with it. So this will be bringing along with us in our storyteller. And 
jump rope. Jump roping uh, is really good for you. Gets your heart beating really quickly. It's a great cardio workout, especially when you're somewhere new or if you are boondocking in a random Walmart parking lot. You don't really want to just be running around. So this you can get a good cardio workout in. And again, super portable. If you like this video, go ahead and gently tap that like button and feel free to comment down below and let us know what some of your van life essentials are. Now we're really, really excited for our new van next week and hope to see you all there in our new Storyteller Overland. Until then.